to, to add or get uh, answered? Appreciate that, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate the comments about the bipartisan PREA legislation that many of us are interested in moving through this committee. Won't keep you long, gentlemen. Um, I'm interested in the displacement of oil shipments from pipelines to rail because of delays in permitting or other factors. In the Hudson Valley of New York, we've seen a massive increase in the amount moving by barge and by rail. Is it fair to say that that is, and each of you could answer if you, if you choose or any of you, is it fair to say that that is because of, uh, of, of an inadequate supply of, uh, of pipelines to move that same crude? I, I can't speak to the pipeline capacity in the Hudson Valley, but I assume uh, that it is, uh, I don't know if it is displaced from current pipeline capacity, but I believe what it is doing is replacing uh, what would used to serve those uh, refineries by maritime. Uh, and so it is domestic energy coming uh, through by rail because the rail capacity is there and we were able to, to adjust and, uh, and, and adapt to it to, to move it quickly. But I, I don't know what the Generally, my understanding is many of those refineries were getting Atlantic Basin right. crude rather than crude from the mid-continent. Uh, railroads have first mover advantage in moving new supplies of crude oil to an area. So what you have seen in these early stages is railroads moving Bakken crude over to that area. Pipeline operators, as they make long-term agreements with their customers, may expand pipeline capacity and compete with those railroads for the business. And so it is fair to say that the volume being moved by rail is related to the volume being moved by pipelines and could either increase or decrease relative to how much we invest in those pipelines in the future. Yes. That, isn't that a point you just made? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Saxon, real quickly, is, 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 there, is there an additional benefit uh, in the case of the, the option two cars uh, in, the event of, um, in, in the event of an intentional dis dis disrailment or uh, a derailment or in, in, in terms of a, an explosive charge that is set off? I mean, it's, it really would make an impact not just in accidents but in, in decreasing the, the, the damage caused by an intentional terrorist act against one of these trains, wouldn't it? Well, yes, there is. And, and the, the benefit, quite frankly, is it, it utilizes thicker steel. It is that simple. You have got more between you and the commodity. It is also really not quite that simple. Uh, the, I believe, major safety and security step up is the requirement for an eighth-inch jacket and thermal protection combined with a high-capacity pressure relief valve. What it has made these accidents and if there was a, a security attack so uh, severe is that uh, one car breaches, it catches on fire, it heats up the next car, it explodes, and so on. And what this new car is designed to do is as it heats, the oil turns into uh, a vapor, it will uh, be spouted uh, through the high capacity pressure relief valve. The thermal protection will keep it from heating too quickly so that there won't be another uh, what, 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 thermal tear, as they call it, uh, it won't explode, so that the only product that will spill is that that occurs in the first incident, the first uh, 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 rupture, and that that then limits the severity. And to me, that then limits the uh, effect, whether it is an accident or uh, a security breach. I appreciate that. I will yield back in the interest of time. Thank you, Mr. Maloney. Mr.